Take a look at one Jean-Pierre Fuchs, if you will. He had one of the best back developments in IFBB history. This is what he looked like from the front. Maybe not the most aesthetic creature in the world, probably why he never placed higher than 7th at an Olympia level. But today we are looking at his back alone, and he did, ladies and gentlemen. He had one of the biggest and best back developments of all time. In fact, people are out there in comments and actually making videos, things of that nature, claiming that Jean-Pierre had a better back than Dorian Yates himself. Can you imagine that? I am sure there's Dorianites at home shaking their head. Well, where did this all start? There are several pictures, side-by-side -side pictures of these guys, and I will definitely say they are screenshots. And remember that I said screenshots. That do show a huge size advantage, I think, that Jean-Pierre has over Dorian Yates. Maybe not that huge, but, I mean, switch their backs up for a second. And yeah, his, his back was bigger. And now here is maybe a more famous comparison between these two dudes. From the 97 Olympia, and he was massive, guys, you have to admit. And here is the other, the, the second pose, the rear lat spread. Look at the size of the traps on this big Jean-Pierre Fuchs. He is dwarfing, he, he's overshadowing the shadow, if you can imagine that one. So I can understand people saying that, sure, he's got a better back. Well, today we are going to debunk that myth. <laughs> That's right, guys. You Dorianites can rest easy. Any close-up shots like this one here, and this is both from 96, I believe, show a just night and day conditioning edge that Dorian would possess over Jean-Pierre Fuchs. And here is another one, guys. Like I said, any close-up shots. So you could imagine the judge judges wouldn't even compare these two. They would tell you right off right offhand, oh well, there's there's no sense even comparing. Who has a better back? Well it's it's irrelevant, really. When one guy is super ripped conditioned, and the other guy is not bad at an Olympia level. Now, if your argument was simply well, he had a bigger back. Well, the guy was huge, first of all. Look at the size of him compared to Yates. Yates still has bigger lats, though. You see that? But like I said, if your argument was that he was he had a bigger back, well, here's both of them from 97, and he does have much bigger traps. And actually, before I continue, you'll notice a Get Big TV symbol. Go over to that YouTube channel. All kinds of footage on the 97 Olympia. But anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, Jean-Pierre, hey. He definitely has bigger traps, and I'll give you that. And that may be the first thing people do notice. But look at the lower lat insertions. Take a close look. I don't think that he's he's much wider, considering that he's taller. I wouldn't say that he's wider at all. And here is the rear double, and this is obviously a closer up shot, so you can see that the condition edge, the striations. But take a look at the back size itself. Is is uh, Jean Pierre Fuchs? That much bigger than Yates? I would say his traps are, and maybe the lats too. So at the risk of upsetting any of you Dorianites, hey, I give you the, the fact that he has a better back, but I mean, look guys, some of these shots show that Jean-Pierre Fuchs, inch for inch, uh, pound for pound, I guess if you cut the, all the meat off and weighed it up, he might actually have a bigger back. But let us once again not misconstrue this situation. Had Yates come in not quite as conditioned as he is known, you know, you get rock hard condition, you lose size. Had he come in massive, he probably would have been bigger than Jean Bidon Pierre Fuchs. And then you could argue the other way. If Jean Pierre Fuchs got more conditioned, would he be as massive? Hard to say, hard to say. I guess the proof is in the pudding. What you actually bring to the stage is your final product, what you're able to achieve. And Dorian Yates, at the end of the day, he probably had the biggest, hardest back of all time. Nobody the size of him could have that condition. And nobody that conditioned was his size. 
just maybe the best back of all time, guys. Hit thumbs up on the video. I really hope you enjoyed this. And uh, look forward to other videos like this. It was uh, very interesting to set up. And, uh, you know, it showed me a lot that Jean-Pierre Fuchs does have a really massive back. And Yates, don't mess around with his back. Unbelievable. Have a great one, guys.